Battlefield Hardline is full of surprises. And I'm not just talking about having a single player campaign that's worth playing. In both single player and multiplayer, playing as a police officer changes the familiar rules in interesting and often funny ways. The seven hour single player campaign gave me as many chances to arrest the bad guys as shoot them. Fuck yeah! Surprised enemies actually respect the badge, you're under arrest, and they're worth more XP alive than dead. That gives you a reason to think before you shoot. Arresting criminals isn't the kind of satisfaction I expected from a battlefield game, but getting through a level without using lethal force requires patience and skill. Before entering combat, you can scan an area and tag enemies, explosives, or alarm systems so they'll appear on your radar. It's great that these levels are intelligently designed to accommodate both stealth and traditional shoot everybody action. Part of Battlefield's legacy includes realistic weapons that feel and sound great, and that's no different here. Gunplay and explosions happen at an unwavering 60 frames per second, but the trade-off is a less than full HD resolution, 900p on PS4 and 720p on Xbox One. My biggest gripe is that the unlock system doesn't appropriately award your playstyle. Stealth earns the most unlocks, but you're mostly unlocking tons of big, noisy guns. Likewise, if you want to shoot stuff all the time, you're not going to get your hands on new guns as quickly as the stealth player who doesn't need them. Another surprise was that I cared about the characters, even though the drug peddling story is nothing special. My disapproving partner, Mendoza's last run in the field, oh, no offense, was a total clusterfuck. My stern boss, we three are the only ones who know about this. Am I clear? And the motley crew of ex-cops, coked up criminals, and more than a few traitors, all of them felt like people, thanks to good writing supported by a strong voice and animation work. And they cooked this guy. I thought you'd never ask. Some enemies are one-dimensional, like these way over-the-top conservative caricatures. Mendoza, right? Oh! They're totally flat and are hard to take seriously as actual characters. Fortunately, the main villain is a little bit more relatable. It's also refreshing to see that Hardline's campaign has a sense of humor. I'm not letting cops take this. Then what are you gonna do with it? We're in Los Angeles. I can unload this in six days. What am I talking about? I know a pro basketball player. Four days. With some good nods and chuckles for Battlefield fans. In multiplayer, the tone of Hardline turns downright bizarre, but mostly in a good way. At least in the short term, the emergent comedy is unexpected gold, and sometimes you won't see it until it literally flattens you. I'm impressed at how successful Hardline's multiplayer is in trying to please everyone with its modes. If you want classic Battlefield, Conquest is back with 66 players, large-scale vehicular combat, and an updated commander mode. But if you have franchise fatigue, some new modes will help wash that away. Hotwire mode injects some much-needed mayhem into Battlefield's 13-year-old multiplayer formula. Instead of holding structures, you have to keep control of moving vehicles and drive them really fast. When the most contested combat areas are mobile, the flow of the fight itself becomes dynamic. You're rarely comfortable, and you're never safe. That makes Hotwire a great mode that forces you to move around and adapt to new situations quickly. New gadgets like the grappling hook and zipline give us mobility options we haven't seen in a Battlefield game in 10 years. The downside is that you kind of need both, one to get up and one to get down, which means that to use them I had to sacrifice body armor, breaching charges, or some other useful gadget. Hardline's other modes scale things down to 5v5 round-based missions that can be over in seconds. The action is quick and brutal, and very different from the typical large-scale war Battlefield is known for. But I've had good rounds full of awesome kills, tense standoffs, and plenty of amazing comebacks. Nine maps isn't a ton to work with, but because they're so varied and changed depending on the game mode, I never felt like I was stuck in the same place for too long. Hands up! Stay right where you are. Hey! Battlefield Hardline impressively manages to serve several different audiences at once. Its campaign is both a great shooter and a great stealth game, with a typical plot spiced with interesting characters and sparse but punctual humor. The large-scale tactical multiplayer combat the series is known for is still as good as it's ever been, but the speedy new hotwire and round-based 5v5 modes provide both speed and thrills. For more on Battlefield Hardline, stick with IGN.